Look at this shit. Look at this shit. It's almost done. It's almost done. It just needs <laughs> to be spiked. It's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there everybody, this is Dana, also known as Peekaboo Boo. I am here doing a Kakashi wig today, and right now we are parting the hair and giving him a nice short haircut. The goal is to have him short in the back and more long on the top and in the front. So essentially we are giving him a bowl cut, sort of like trunks from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> now I'm also going through with thinning shears and thinning them out a bit just to make the hair more texturized, uh, making it easier to back home later. I was also making measurements to make sure that both sides are even. This took a couple run-throughs, so don't be nervous if you don't get it right the first time or if it's exactly right. The wigs are pretty forgiving. And as you can see, I'm going through with my thinning shears just to make sure that there aren't really any super blunt edges. Now we're going through and making our parts and flat ironing them down. The Melinda has its wefts sewn in upside down. So while it's great for spiking the top, it's not so great for the bottom because Kakashi's hair points down. Remember to continue to put on his headband just to make sure that your parting is going to be in the right spot. Also, I took some of the side pieces and flat ironed them back to kind of hide more wefts. Now what I'm doing is kind of a clever trick and that's back combing the hair, flat ironing it, and then once cool, brushing it out, and then going back over the tips and flat ironing those. So the base of the hair is nice and crimped and hides the wefts really well, while also lifting the hair, making it far more easier to spike. Now what I'm also doing is I'm taking everything that is on the right side and pushing it up towards the left. And I'm going to do this for about three quarters of the way while also back combing and heating the back comb, brushing it out, flat ironing the tips, making it extra fluffy. If I were to compare it really to anything, it would be like a Pomeranian. Now there's a part on the left side that I'm going to be pushing towards the right. And I'd say it's about a quarter to maybe a third of the way in. The goal is to have both sides pushing against each other to make that nice pointed broom-like shape. Now you'll see me go through and I'm going through with my thinning shears to make shorter layers in the hair not to really thin it, but to make more material for the back comb to work. I'm also doing some weaving through the hair to hide more of those wefts. It really is key to keep putting on that headband just to make sure you know where your placement is at. The sideburn area is kind of a trick, so keep going in with the thinning shears until you're happy. As for the front, you want to take it and flat iron it back rather than to either side. Also, Kakashi has a couple bang pieces in the front on his left side, so you're going to want to take those out and give those a little bit of a trim too. You can stop here and leave it at a more natural sort of look, not as hyped. However, I went forward with you know, the got to be glued hairspray. Which you'll see in a moment because I wanted my hair more animated. I'm going in with my handy dandy got to be glued hairspray and giving him a few spikes. However, I 
Notice that the wefts are starting to show again, <laughs> despite me doing all that back home earlier. It helped, but it didn't really seal the deal. So I had to keep going back in and doing more back combing and more spraying. Eventually, it worked out to my benefit. The sideburns were being kind of finicky again, so I had to go through with my thinning shears and give it a trim. Now I'm off to making parts in the main area of hair that's, you know, lifted. And spraying at the base, giving it a bit of back comb, spraying the tips, you know, keeping everything in a nice spiked fashion. However, you will see me go back in and redo quite a few of these spikes as some of them need to be either lifted more or thicker or bent in a different way, you know. As you go along, you'll figure out which specific pieces need to be changed and able for your wig to work out the way that you want it to. While most people will say try to keep the hairspray towards a minimum, I on the other hand used a lot of hairspray and my wigs can kind of stand up through a windstorm so I'm not too worried about it. Going through now, getting the bang area, uh, those short little wisps, and then going through and redoing some of my spikes as I said earlier. I like to keep a reference picture handy just to make sure that everything is just right. Here's some hyperlapse videos that I slowed down for a cool effect, or at least that's what I thought I was doing. <laughs> but it's also to show you sort of every angle. At any rate, I hope you all enjoyed this video and look forward to more. Uh, Gara will be coming up next, so stay tuned, subscribe, you know what to do. I'm so glad to be done with this. I can't even tell you guys. So yeah, Takashi is now finished. <laughs> Took a minute, but he's good to go. Coming up next, that kid right over there. Hello, Claudius. I see. I look horrible. Yes, you do. Anyways, you can see a little bit of flyaways at the top. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. This, my friends, this is the price of cosplay. This is what happens with got to be glued hairspray. So at any rate, Gara is next. And then we're going to be making some shoes. Because apparently online, you know, there's no such thing as a foot that is a size 13. My husband is 6'5. He he wears a size 13 shoe. He's huge, dude. He's so tall. He has such huge feet. I'm not complaining about it, but they should be fair and make bigger Naruto shoes for people with bigger feet instead of only going to a size men's 10 or 11. Like, there are feet bigger than that. So, yeah. It will be Garo's hair, and then the shoes. The wonderful ninja sandals over the top. And hopefully it won't be too cold or whatever. I gotta, you know, make sure my pedicure game is strong. Let's see my cord. Hello, God. Hello. Hello. My name is Gord. I'm amazing. I am so fabulous. I'm the great Kakashi Sensei. I'm the great Kakashi Sensei. The great Kakashi Sensei. <laughs> My name means Scarecrow! My name means Scarecrow, and that's why I have this hair. Because I'm a freaking Scarecrow. Alright guys, if you wouldn't mind, totally check out this artist, Iruka. He's pretty awesome, and his name is Iruka, come on now. And then there's also Odyssey, or Odice. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Also, all wigs that I've been using have been by Artawigs, and they are definitely worth checking out, so please do so.
like, comment, subscribe, and keep calm and cosplay on.